Hey, remember when I've been telling you all you people for months now that uh, that really expensive... I've got a dozen. I've got a dozen Zeiss lenses. I love Zeiss, but every lens manufacturer makes some real crap. Um, I've been telling everybody... By the way, the guy down under, he had a hissy fit on me like about two or three months ago, and he called me a clown and some other nasty stuff. And, uh, you know, you should, people like this have no self-control. Because I made a mention not about him or anything. I said the Zeiss Otis lens was... Um, he actually was talking to a Zeiss guy, worked for Zeiss, and he, he was praising his, oh, it's the most sharpest lens ever was, and, or something really hyperbolic and insane like that. And uh, this is wrong. I've used the Zeiss Otis 55mm. The worst one, actually, is the 85mm Otis. These are very, 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 very expensive uh, Zeiss lenses, and they are incredibly sharp. Um, Four thousand dollars for both of them, basically. Um, anyway, he was praising how great this lens, the best lens ever. Other people have done that, and these are people that don't have refined taste when it comes to lenses. Okay. Now, here's something I'm going to say before I'm going to mention Yannick's blog here. He took some pictures, and uh, he's comparing the Zeiss Otis. Uh, I'm going to make a statement here, and I don't care what anybody thinks about what I'm about to say. I know more about lenses than anybody else on YouTube, and all of them together times four. <coughs> Now, nobody's used all lenses, but I've used all the Nikkor lenses for the past 40 years, and I've used a lot. I've tested all, except a couple Zeiss lenses, all of them. And I own a dozen Zeiss lenses. I mean, damn, yes, they're expensive. I mean, anybody that says, well, you just don't like that lens because it's expensive. Are you kidding me? If it's a really good lens, I'll damn well buy it. You know that, and I know that. Um, so these people that are making lenses, well, it's an Otis, it's really expensive, and Zeiss, well, every lens company makes some really crappy lenses. Now, before I get into Yannick's blog, and check out his link below, because he does some excellent work on his blog, he was investigating what I was saying about the Otis being a pile of crap. Um, it is the case that these lenses were designed, for one thing, that's remove all chromatic aberration. Typical Zeiss lenses, like, um, they're 50 millimeter. And they're 85, which has six elements. Um, they have some significant chromatic aberration issues when you have high contrast scenes. Um, okay, they're re they're designed uh, even by their own admission for video work. Remove of, removal of chromatic aberration, um, removal of uh, vignetting. There's a you know the Zeiss 28 millimeter, the 55. And the 85, which is the worst, the 25, 28 millimeter. I say 25. The the Otis 28 millimeter is also really bad. Um, that anyway, uh, Yannick's blog below. He actually uh, tested, uh, brought his 28 millimeter, and uh, he was testing it against the Otis. Uh, his AFD uh, Nikkor 28 millimeter is a six element lens versus a 16 element lens from the Zeiss Otis. You know, very expensive lens, but cost being irrelevant. You know, one lens is uh, 20 plus years old. The other lens is brand new. Um, so he went to test it. And check out his pictures below. He does a bunch of pictures, and he eventually shows you a close-up. Check out the woman's scarf. You can't see it in this picture repair, but check out the woman's scarf. He let me uh, let me uh, do this. He gave me permission to uh, show you his blog. And, uh, you know, here's the, check the link to his blog below where you can see all the information in the pictures. Anyway, he was testing my theory. Not my theory, my statement that uh, the Otis is a piece, you know, is it's not a good lens because I judge lenses not based on sharpness only, but on other criteria. And these lenses suck. They've got a lot of glass in them and they render really flat. Just like my Tamron 70 200 2.8 VC does. It's like a really fast lens for autofocus. It's pretty damn sharp. It's awesome, but it's also flat, low contrast, not awesome color saturation, but it's still a really good lens. It, Check out her scarf in the pictures below, not these two pictures. But the, uh, the Zeiss Otis renders horribly. I mean, for basically 20 times as much money. Well, not 20 times. Yeah, well, a lot more money. I mean, you're talking about uh, 200 bucks versus, uh, yeah, whatever. Say 20 times as much money. Six elements uh, versus uh, 16 on the Zeiss Otis. 28 millimeter. Check out his link below and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. He uh, tested what I said and uh, his test confirms exactly what I said. Um, so I'm correct on that. Um, he's the first one to post some pictures. I mean, I was going to have to borrow the Otis 55. I wasn't going to borrow the 28 millimeter Otis, but I was going to borrow the 55 again. Um, but the pictures are not good. Uh, flat, low color saturation. 
Um, the shadow detail is where you can really see the micro contrast. And uh, you're talking about a $20 lens versus a lens that's many, many thousands of dollars. And, but it's made also for video. And Zeiss admits this, but it's not a really awesome photography lens. It's very sharp. It's like, well, isn't sharpness all that matters? Well, hell no, it's not. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's like saying, well, at McDonald's, I can get like a gigantic burger really cheap. You know, well, it's, it's processed crap. You can get this lens that's really, really sharp, but it has bad color saturation, has bad micro contrast. It has poor depth rendition. Uh, the bokeh is not as good on it as it is the 28mm f2.8 uh, D Nikkor, which is, you know, it's uh, half as old as I am. The lens was just, uh, just came out uh, this year, 2016. The first two Otis release were the 55mm and the 85mm Otis. And 55 is not super bad, but it's pretty bad, and the 85 really sucks. Um, you know... It's not about the money. I mean, if anybody says, well, you, you can't afford to buy the lens, well, obviously that's BS. I buy any damn lens that uh, I feel like I need to buy, but these lenses stink, you know. But I also love Zeiss. But uh, on these particular lenses, they suck, and there's a good reason why they suck. This thing's got 16 elements in it, and it renders flat and uh, nasty. But it's a really sharp lens. But, you know, so these people, like the guy down under that had a hissy fit on me because I made a mention of, of that saying that the Zeiss Otis 55mm sucked, well, I'm right. These people keep talking about, oh, bloody shit, bloody hell, it's so sharp. It's like, yeah, it's really sharp, but the lens overall sucks. So anyway, check out Yannick's uh, blog link below and uh, check out the pictures. He shows you a bunch of different pictures. You can take a look at them and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching, and uh, thanks to Yannick for uh, writing his blog and uh, posting some pictures of the Otis compared to his Nikkor. Okay? Thanks!